Hi, uh, my name is Christine. I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I'm actually your brother. <laughs> well, I don't really have a brother, just one sister. <laughs> Do you know me? You're doing, you're doing phone witnessing, right? Yeah, you know, sharing a scripture, a talking about the Lord. I don't. Okay. Like, are you, what do you mean? Like, you're a Christian? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm one of Joe's witnesses. Oh, okay. Oh, this would be a perfect verse. Do you have time for a Bible verse? Oh, so you're just... Oh, what what uh, organization are you with? I, I mean, I have a part-time job. I don't I don't think it's an organization, though. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, we, we do this all the time. Oh, cool. Yeah, witnessing for a long time uh-huh especially during the pandemic but oh do they have did they go back to meetings now i mean yeah. oh i see okay yeah we meeting. We're i back thought out i heard the, that the public ministry door to door so do you have time for a quick verse sure yeah. um i love it it's first john 5 1 it says everyone believing that jesus is the christ has been born from god Amen. Are you born again? I've dedicated myself to God, yes. Well, you, you For, changed the question. You, you changed the question, I think. I wasn't asking if you dedicated yourself to God. Are you born again? Well, I think we have probably different understandings of the term born again. Uh huh. Are, are you born again? According to the, their understanding, I guess. Well, According to scriptures, when Jesus was talking about being born again, it was a spiritual thing, right? Being anointed by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know the verses that, you know, he was referring to the new covenant from the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Yeah, he said Nicodemus should know what that meant. And his Uh followers to those who would rule with him in heaven. Yeah. So I don't, I don't feel I'm part of that group. Oh, no. okay. Okay. Why would there be a verse like everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ has been born from God? Why would there be a verse like that then? Well, a lot of it depends on our understanding of the original language. What was he saying? Because he, he said a similar thing to one of the religious leaders. So... All the, all the translations must be this, right? All the translations say this. Um, are you like an expert in Greek or something? I don't have to be an expert in Greek. Oh, okay, because you I'll know, have done the work for us. <laughs> yeah, we have to rely on that, really, on, on reliable scholars that were familiar with Hebrew and Greek. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's interesting. You know, Jesus also said in John three three that. Unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Yep. So why do you guys talk about it all the time? I mean, how many people of of Jehovah's Witnesses are even born again if it was only 144,000? Yeah, that's what Aren't, aren't they mostly gone? There's 144,000 yeah. that have been born again by God's Holy Spirit. Are, are you going to that, see the kingdom of God? With Christ in heaven. You think it's just a matter of that, like some kind of future function, being born again in in the Bible, in the New Testament? You think that's that's what it comes down to? I mean, doesn't it mean being made alive from spiritual death? Like the word regeneration means the same thing, to be made alive. Because yeah, well, we're all I mean, born dead in trespasses and from, sins. From God's original purpose, you know, what did, what did God tell Adam and Eve? Why would the New Testament say you're dead in trespasses and sins unless you're, you've been made alive, regenerate, and born again? Why, why does it say that? I mean, it doesn't talk about set forth any kind of other option, you know, like some well, other group. you kind of have to look at both the Old and the New Testament together because Psalm 37 says the meek will inherit the earth. So the anoint, the anointed the aren't, aren't me. How do you tell the, says that there will be no more pain or death, no more tears? Mm-hmm. Well, obviously, there's no death in heaven. So what what is it referring to? Yeah, Christians believe in the new heavens and the new earth, but the necessity right. 
of salvation and the new birth is is a different topic. Um, you know, that's that's a view of the end times. You can't build your whole doctrine of salvation on your view of the last things. It's it's not really. I know they want to tie it into that, but well, it's um, not built on all the last thing. It's obviously following in Jesus' footsteps, right? Are are you First going? Peter two says that Jesus served as a model mm-hmm. for us to follow his steps closely, right? So the only way to salvation, whether your hope is to rule in heaven with Jesus or to live forever here on a paradise earth, both groups have to follow Jesus' example. They have to believe. From that scripture you read, right? First John 5, 1, they have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. The Christ. And that he offered his life as a ransom for everyone, exercising faith in him, might live. So, right. John three sixteen, right? Common, common verse. Yeah, you believe that the whosoever in John three sixteen is different than the anyone in John three three. You're, you're, it's just a completely, you know, um, the, the two classes are read into everything. I mean, are you going to see the kingdom of God? Do you believe I'm that going, I believe I'm going to experience the benefits? Oh, the of benefits! God's heavenly kingdom. Okay. Right? Because part of the Lord's prayer was that God's will be done in heaven, also upon the earth. So, why does the Insight Book define the kingdom as a royal government and also? Oh, I see what this is. Also, could you let me oh, finish? Okay. That you like that book, right? Also, the I people and territories okay. under the reign of a king. Wouldn't that so be thank the you earthly? For revealing the true purpose of your call. <laughs> is it? But thank you for sharing the scripture with me. I thought Jehovah's Witnesses want us to read their stuff. Okay. You have a good day, ma'am. God bless you. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Christine. I was just doing some phone witnessing. Do you have a minute? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Most people aren't as excited about it. Well, it's nice to be on the end of the phone call. Great. Well, I just... Sure, for, for, uh, for phone witnessing. Great. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share scripture with you from John three three. Well, well, I, I want I want to hear it. Um, oh, okay. Do you have a minute? You, no, no, no. Sorry. So I, I'm also one of Job's witnesses. So <laughs> that's why I said I'm on the other end. So oh. Call from. Oh, I didn't say I was a Jehovah's Witness. Did is that what you thought? Yes, I did. You're not a Jehovah's Witness. No. Oh, you're making phone calls. W- well, sure. This is great. Okay, I want to hear it. I mean, Christians love talking about Christ, don't they? Yeah. yeah okay, okay well, um, John 3, 3 says, where Jesus said, um, Most truly, I say to you, unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Uh-huh. Are you going to see the kingdom of God? Well, what do you mean by the kingdom of God? Hmm. It's see, it's well, what according to um, Jehovah's Witnesses, the Bible, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Christians believe no, no. that what, yeah, yeah, according to what do you so I know, what oh. I, I know what I believe, right? But oh, what do you yeah. mean by the kingdom of God? Yeah, well, we believe it's wherever Christ rules and reigns, He's our king, okay, yeah, and He'll rule, He's ruling in heaven. Oh, yeah. Oh, Christians believe that. Yeah, in Acts chapter 2, it says that uh, at his ascension, he fulfilled the prophecy that David, one of the heirs of David, would sit on the throne. So, yeah. Um, Yeah. You know, Jesus said that in Matthew 12, if he was casting out demons by the Holy Spirit, then the kingdom of God has arrived. Okay. Yeah, so do you feel like the kingdom of God is a real government, or do you just think it's a condition of the heart? Uh, yeah, it's a spiritual kingdom, but many Christians believe in the literal um, millennium, if that's what you're referring to, on earth. You know, people, yeah, yeah, we're, Christians we're do changing. believe, it's, you know, that's one view, the renewed and restored earth and the literal thousand years. Yeah. It's a very common view, yeah. actually. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that, that Jesus and his co-rulers will rule for uh, a thousand years get the earth back the way what God intended, and then he'll hand it back over to his father. What do you think about that verse where Jesus said the kingdom of God has arrived if he was casting out demons by the Holy Spirit? That would be way before 1914. Correct. Yeah. It was giving a foregling. 
He was saying. No, it says it's like, arrived. It doesn't say a four gleam. He said it's it is, well, has arrived. Him being there, he said the when he was on Earth, he said the kingdom is amongst you. He's talking about himself. And do you remember when he said uh, when the apostles uh, came back and they were so excited because they were expelling demons, doing all these things, and he said, "I already see Satan being casted out at this time." Does mm -hmm. that mean he was being casted out of heaven at that time? Or, oh or yeah, that? the time because the, it's there's a connection with Jesus. Um, Jesus' death and resurrection, uh, vanquishing Satan. That's one view of the atonement called Christus Victor. And um, yeah, he is he is existing still, but defeated for believers. Jesus um, defeated death, hell, and the devil. Right, so their actions, right? So they're breaking up the works of the devil. But he was also talking about a future time when Satan would be thrown out of heaven, uh, which that happened. Oh, you mean it says, where it says thrown down in Revelation? Yeah, yeah, he was cast out. There was a great war, and he was thrown out of heaven. Thrown down. Have you ever looked up that expression, like um, being raised up to heaven or thrown down, even from heaven in the Old Testament, and what it really means? So this is in Revelation. I know, but, you know, we can learn from the Bible the words that it's using, and Revelation has tons of Old Testament uh, quotes and allusions and thrown down from heaven is actually used in the Old Testament of people who were disempowered. Disempowered. Okay. Yeah. That just well, check it out. I mean, it's real interesting. So, sure. But it said, but then he gave a warning for the earth. <clears throat> right. Woe to the earth. Right. Because he was causing great problems in heaven. So this isn't just he lost his power. He's, he was not allowed in heaven any longer. And he had free reign at that point before that time to go back and forth, as we learned from the example of Job, when he asked him where he was it when he came in to meet with other sons of God. He said, "Where are you where are you come from?" He says, "Roving about the earth." You recall that? So he had access, but after Jesus, after a, war, a great war broke out in heaven, he was cast down out of heaven to the earth, and then there was a warning to the earth because he was a troublemaker in heaven. And so uh, he would be, you know, confined to, to this area until he was, he'll be uh, thrown into the abyss for a thousand years. So you've, you've no doubt talked to Jehovah's Witnesses before. You're very versed in that. Is this, is, but the, so what I'm explaining to you isn't new to you, right? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> okay, right. The, well, the New Testament so, speaks of the kingdom of God. So, we, so at this point, so at this point, and I, you know, we're at an we're at impasse. It was nice talking to you about Jesus and how important his role is in God's kingdom and what it's going to you know, do for the earth. Yeah, and the reason the New Testament good, says good you must be born again is because... People, can, and, and can I have beliefs. a little bit more chance? No. <laughs> I, no oh, no, not, I see. Not, okay. That's kind of how it is not, with Jehovah's Witnesses. I understand well, that. Well, yeah. I don't know if that's... You, you can continue to look for sheep-like ones, I guess. But, hey, also... Um, but, John, John 1, I think, I think what will happen is <laughs> we're both doing our very best on what we believe yeah. and what we're doing. And we don't, I, we, listen, we're not about uh, debating or arguing. Oh, you know, oh definitely, you're, definitely. You're, you know, and that's, that's a, a yeah, do you know why they say that? Well, listen, hold on a second. Actually, the scriptures say that. Uh -huh. You know, there's to argue. It says them. also to defend your faith and give a reason for the hope that is yeah, in you. I'm going to just give, I'm just going to say one I, more Bible verse. I won't even comment on that, minute. if that's okay. No, no, it's not. And I'm trying to explain this. Oh, okay. Thing. I'm just trying to say, listen, it doesn't really do any benefit to this. And ultimately, the creator will decide, you know, who is doing their best and decide what, what judgment he'll have for them. So, so we don't the, want to be... And it, what we're what we're being taught, we feel, is from the scriptures, and what we share is from the scriptures. Yeah, I and got just one verse that I want to say. Since you already have talked for a long time, kind of nonstop, it's First John five one, yeah. and it okay. says First John. Do you actually get conversions when you speak to people this way? First John five one says. Are, hello. Yeah. 